What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? This is Wes from Obscure Terrain. Welcome back to our channel. And we're about to head to the Guadalupe Mountains. Tomorrow morning, we are gonna take off up in the canyon behind me, and we are gonna make it to the highest peak in Texas. And uh, there's a monument up there, so our goal is to make that monument, camp up there at the campsite, and uh, come on back down. Our goal is we just made a bunch of stickers, so instead of making this try to seem intense when it's probably not going to be an intense hike at all uh, we're just going to promote ourselves so this is the promoting obscure terrain at the tallest point it's the highest peak in texas hell yeah we're going to go up to people tickle them with our charm and then tickle them with our stickers ready yeah hey guys face this way obscure terrain promoting style stickers we are going to be promoting on the trail. We're looking for that target market dog. Looking for that target audience. Now let us take a moment to observe. Watch as obscure terrain sets up for that perfect trailhead shot, called a walk-by. See how Wade quickly ran back to fetch Wesley after placing the camera. Now they will begin to walk. By the way, do you enjoy these great sound effects? They really give you the ambience of birds. Wait, that's the wrong bird! There is no chickens out here! Now they look confused and worried! Who in the bloody hell is in charge of these sound effects? Coming at you live from Disneyland. Thanks, Kano. Thanks. There's our ride. Oh, dang. We got some magical quartz. It's a treasure. We call this ride of the famous park the tree ride. Why is it Splash Mountain? Where, yeah, where is Splash Mountain? In Disneyland. This is Splash Mountain in Texas. You know? Right, it, Kano? Splash Mountain number two? Huh, <laughs> Kano? We have climbed over a thousand feet already, and we're 1.2 miles in, and it's almost 11. It's a hard, I think it, it's not the length that's hard, it's the elevation gain we do. Yeah. It's mostly hard if you have a 60 pound pack on it, but if you're just walking it, you... You'd breeze up this thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only hard part is carrying a pack. Water, actually. Yep. Carrying water. But here we are, you know, Guadalupe Mountains. Just hiking away. Met some awesome people so far. I'm pretty excited for the camp. We'll have neighbors. 
I've never had neighbors before. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> huh? Two neighbors. Maybe three, who knows? There's five campsites up there. So we'll see. Oh, check it out. It's, it's a pine tree. Guadalupe Mountains experience relatively hot summers and cool to cold weather in winter and early spring. During the spring months from March to May, the winds can become a big problem for hikers and backpackers alike. Luckily, we were met with ideal conditions for us. Not too hot, not too cold, and a little breezy with cloud coverage, making the terrain feel obscure. This was a lot easier than any of the ones we've done. This is the easiest one we've done. It was well uh, manicured, I can say, the trail. We had tent pads, so like, yeah. it was cool because- We didn't have to set up It was absolutely elevated when we, it's like, when you sleep at night, like you gotta sleep with your head above your feet and or on a perfectly level surface. And we actually got that this time, which we hardly ever get. And that does make a big difference on comfort. Yeah, it does. I woke up refreshed yep. i gotta tell you like fresh off the trail some refreshed. of the best sleep i ever had how you feeling wade i feel pretty good we ate some uh food earlier and uh like the wind we're not getting pounded by the wind anymore it was it's not too bad of wind but i feel good i feel really good we made it to our campsite uh we i think it was about one o'clock i think when we made it here maybe a little after one i would say it was one o'clock yeah and uh on. Ah, so it was it was pretty easy actually i mean the only tough parts were those big steps but i mean other than that it was pretty easy this is actually like the perfect trail for us to bring a guest on yet we're guestless we are guestless guestless mofos oh, yeah do you have to bleep mofo i don't think so over here we got our campsite and uh, we're gonna hike up to the peak. It's uh, back this way, so right there. Um, it's about a mile to the peak. But we're gonna wait till it gets closer to the sunset because we're gonna try to capture some good shots. Uh, well, we're not gonna do a two. So we're not gonna go and come back and then go and come back. Oh, you wanna do that? I was kinda wanting to. Yeah, I guess we could do that. We go twice. All right. Yeah.
check it out. It's a cliffin bridge. It's what they call a cliffin bridge. This is the bridge. It's not a bridge. Well, yeah, that's a little bridge. It's more like they like reinforced what once was walkway. Very, very interesting. That's where we're headed. Made it, made it to the highest peak in Texas. It's hot up here, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Didn't take too long to get up here to the peak from the camp, so I'm probably gonna come back for sunset. Check this out. This rock is all over the place. It's pretty cool. It's all over the place. You can't take it with you though. Well, we're gonna make our second trip up to the peak again because we want to check out the sunset. Record that. Oh, yeah. Wesley has his pants down. Call me with my pants down, y'all. <laughs> This is a pretty good one. It's definitely not as hard as our other trips. Not like by far, I feel like I'm on like on a vacation kind of. I don't feel, like I definitely have not felt like I was gonna die not once, and that's happened on almost all the other trips. Like um, well not the first two, but the White Mountain Wilderness, I thought I was gonna get hypothermia and die. Chiricahuas, I thought that the guys were gonna get hypothermia and die, and then I was gonna feel bad and try to take them back to like down the mountain which then I would have gotten hypothermia and died <laughs> and the volcanic fields of fire when we couldn't find that cave I, I was thinking that we were gonna die if we couldn't find that cave but we found it and that's the cool thing about this trip I haven't felt like I was gonna die once so how, how about that but yeah it's been great you know a lot of promoting a lot of nice I met a lot of new people that like what we like, so that was cool. I mean, it's a pretty cool hike. Like, it's definitely easy. Uh, we're going to probably spin this video a little bit differently, you know, into a promoting video, because that's all we did. We just promoted ourselves up here. Everybody's cool. We met people from Austin, Oklahoma, Las Cruces. Illinois. Illinois, Chicago. So yeah, this is just a wide variety of people. But yeah, it's it's chill, man. It looks like this campground is super busy though during spring break. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, any like any time in March. They what the rangers said is uh, March and April this camp, uh, this whole campsite gets really busy. So and then when summer hits and it gets like really hot, nobody comes here. Nobody comes here except us. Yeah, we could have come here in the summer, huh? Uh huh. We'll pack in all our water. Oh, dude, that'd be hard. Hell yeah, it would. I think I should get this camera started because we're going to do a time lapse of the sunset.
once again, it rained a little bit last night. And then uh, all this condensation gathered up on the trees and rained even more on our tents. So we drug our tents out here to let them uh, get shooken off and let them get shook. Couldn't have fires up there, which really didn't make too much of a difference. We didn't get to enjoy it, but we brought, we brought a little uh, fuel can and just a stovetop burner. And, and that thing was honestly one of the coolest things we had. Yeah. It, it, we boiled water in like a fourth of the time. And you know what? Uh, we're going to still look at a, a jet boil. This thing comes into a, a little tiny little pouch and it weighs practically nothing. We're going to make some coffee cook some breakfast, get some warm substances in us, substances in us and uh, head down. That's our plan. Shout out to all you beautiful peeps that we met on the trail. Yeah, you all were absolutely wonderful to us. Except and, uh, for the one who didn't want our sticker, not you. <laughs> Definitely not you. <clears throat> and for all you guys who accepted our sticker even though you didn't want it, we thank you. Yeah. <laughs>